Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see an app called Lightroom Mobile, which is the Adobe software, which is have the free version and also the paid version. We are only going to see the features only available in the free version. So let's see the basic of Lightroom Mobile. First, you need to download the Lightroom Mobile go to play store and search for lightroom mobile and install it after installing open it and sign up to add a photo click on the plus icon from here and add your image and click on add to import it into the lightroom after that go to all photos and select your imported image i'm going to select this image for this tutorial purpose let's see each and every tool from here so this is the free version of Lightroom Mobile. So first tool is crop tool. So you can use this tool to crop your image. You can also rotate your image. You can also change the aspect ratio. For example, if you want to change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, you can do that. Also, you can change the custom aspect ratio. Crop it like this. If you want Instagram resolution, you need 9 by 16. So you can do 6 by 9. Then you can rotate the aspect ratio. You can rotate your photo by 90 degree. And you can also flip your image horizontally and vertically. Press the tick icon to proceed to the next steps and this tab is a preset you have inbuilt lightroom presets you can use from this one or you can also create your own preset i'm going to do that in the end of the video so let's see other tools and this is the auto color correction tool if we click that it will automatically color correct and add some contrast reduce the exposure if it is too exposed so like that it will automatically correct Usually my first step is to do the auto correct and then I will manually adjust the settings. The Lightroom AI pretty much did the work mostly for us. So let's see the next option light option. So from here you can see because we selected auto adjustment, it is automatically adjusted to these settings. You can manually adjust that too. If we increase the exposure, it will increase the brightness of the whole image like you can see. It is increase the brightness of the whole image to undo you can click over here and the next option is contrast contrast means it will brighten the brightest spot and darken the darker spot like it will bright the highlights and dark the shadows let's see if we increase you can see the dark spots are being darker more and light spots are being more brighter if we reverse it it will become more grayish like you can see Next, you can see the highlights option. If we increase the highlights, only the highlight spot become brighter. Let's see. For example, this area is the highlight area. If we increase that, you can see it will become more brighter. If we decrease it, it will have some details. Usually I will reduce the highlights. So something like uh, minus 80. So that will look good. And the shadow area, so let's see this is the shadow area or else you can also see this is the shadow area if we increase the shadow area it will add brightness to the shadows if we reduce it it will darken it you can see only the shadow portions are affected and for whites you can see it will affect the whites if we increase the whites it will brighten up the white areas and if we decrease it it will dock on the white areas uh, same goes to black if we increase the black the black areas become brighter you can see the hair pot which is uh, getting brighter if we decrease it you can see it is getting darker we can see on a hair pot okay that's it so next we can see the curves so this is the curve and here this point is considered as a shadow and this is the highlights and this is the mid-tone highlight and this is the mid-tone and this is the mid-tone shadow let's add some points over here 
if we move this part you can see the highlights getting brighter and if we move it down the highlights become darker same goes to this if we increase this the shadow area become brighter and the shadow area become darker double tap to remove the notes and if we drag this down it will darken up the image overall if we move upward it will brighten up the image overall so this is how the curves work if you want only the shadow to be affected you can also drag this to the up make the black grayer if we move this side it will make the black more darker also you have rgb curves red green and blue same concept goes to this if we move upward it will add more red to the image if we move downward it will add cyan to the image if we move this part it will add red to the highlights and if we move downwards it will add cyan to the highlights like that for green if we move up it will add green move down it will add magenta for blue if you move up it will add blue move down it will add yellow so using this curve you can mess around and if you want you can use this curves option and the next option is white balance you can change the white balance as short or you can also select auto and you can also customize your white balance you can also use the color picker and pick the white color from your image to adjust the white balance if you want your image to be in cooler tone you can reduce the temperature to minus value it will add a blue to the image it will look cooler if you want to add warm tones you can increase it the temperature should be in plus so it will add warm tone to your image and if you want to add tint you can add green tint or you can also add pink tint to your image so next option is uh, vibrance and saturation if your uh, image colors are muted you can use saturation to adjust the overall color of your image but the vibrance increase the colors only that are muted if some colors are dull if we use vibrance it will increase the saturation of that color only so that is the difference between vibrance and saturation saturation will be affecting the overall colors but the vibrance will affect only the colors that are muted so next we are going to see the important feature of this lightroom mobile which is the color mix for that i'm going to use another image for this tutorial we are going to use this image so let's see how this color mix works so we have a bunch of colors red orange yellow green cyan blue etc so you can use these colors to affect your image for example i'm going to select the green color and if we adjust the slider from here it will only affect the green color let's see i'm going to change the saturation to minus 100 and you can see it will only affect the green area and other areas is not affected if we reduce the saturation to minus 100 it will reduce the color from that green area if we increase it it will add more colors to that green area same like if we adjust the hue it will change the color to the different tones you can see you can also change the color only that particular color will be affected and you can also adjust the luminance to brighten up that color if you want to darken it you can reduce the luminance likewise you can adjust red orange yellow you can also see if you increase the yellow saturation it will only increase the saturation of the yellow if we reduce it only the yellow value is reduced all the same to luminance same to hue so every slider from here will work like that so this is a very useful tool in the lightroom mobile for example if you want to make the green leaves 
orange you can definitely use this also you can use this click on that if you want to increase the saturation of this green or else if you don't know what color it is for example for you can see this red has some little bit of orange also so let's see if we click you can see both this red and orange is selected then you can increase it saturation same goes to luminance if you reduce it reduce both the red and orange and it will reduce that area's luminance you can click and drag to increase and you can see also this yellow area has little bit of uh, orange as well let's see this green area this green area has little bit of cyan and you can also see that see this area has cyan and blue so likewise you can click and drag to adjust hue saturation luminance of that particular area now let's see the next option which is can also be called as a split toning if you want to have some colors in the shadows you can use this and another different color in highlights you can also use this tool let's see for example if you want to have a orange and teal look you can add orange to the shadow and increase the saturation a little bit and in the highlights you need a teal so you can do it like this like this you can use this tool next is fx if you want to add some texture to your image you can increase the texture you can see the texture in the close area you can see it will add more texture if i reduce it it reduces the texture if you increase the clarity you can see it will add some clarity to your image it will make the dark part little darker and you can also do it backward so you can also use a dehaze if you are taking your photo in fog and smog area you can use a dehaze to reduce the smoke and uh, fog increase the dehaze will uh, remove the fogs and you can also do it the opposite if we dehaze in the negative way it will add some foggy effects you can also add vignette you can also add white vignette or black vignette if we increase the value it will add white vignette if we decrease it it will add black vignette you can also add midpoint to this vignette you can also add feather roundness if you want to add grain to your image you can use this slider you can also change the size of the grain and roughness of the grain let's see the next options so this is the details option if you want to sharpen your image you can use this slider this will sharpen your image and if you want to uh, polish your face you can use uh, noise reduction it will polish your face and you can use remove chromatic aberration to remove some fringes if your uh, image has you can also enable lens correction if you want to do that then you can also add a preset from here after editing you can also create your own preset click on the three dots and create preset and add your preset name and select your option you need to store in that preset and click on tick icon to save your preset and then go to this option and you will have that preset over here you can also save it as a group for example you can see i have saved two black tone presets so this one and this one like that you can also save those preset to export click on this share icon and down here you can see the export as and you can save the file types as jpg dng and tiff file i'm going to save it as jpg and you can even include watermark if you want and you can also 
add more options if you want then click on the tick icon to export it on your device so that's it this is the basic of lightroom mobile i'm going to post more videos on this lightroom mobile so please make sure to subscribe this channel for more future tutorials so thanks for watching if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe this channel for more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when i upload your video thanks for watching and bye